Hey everybody, so thank you for joining me here today. Uh, we're going to check out how we can uh, get the print on these uh, no issue tissue paper uh, mocker product. So let's just get into it. Um, they have a lot of um, you know layers if you open the layers. Uh, there's so many layers out there and there's so many uh, small small uh, layers out there. So if you go down, you can see one of the layer has uh, its name called design and something something. So um, that is a layer which with the, you know, which has the, which you have to add the print on. So if you just, if I just close these two, like uh, switch off those eyeballs there, uh, you can see it's just become white. So now if I just uh, click that back here, you can see my design back, right? So that's the layer you need to work on. So if you click this particular layer here and uh, right now I have my design or my print here, but you may not have initially, but if that's the case, you uh, you can just draw, drag and drop your, you know, your, um, I'll just show you that. Second, so for example, if this was not there, um, and this would be the only uh, template we'll be having initially. So what you do is basically you go into your file on Illustrator, and maybe what you can do is you can just pull this this one, and you can bring it, drag and drop it on Photoshop. So when you drag and drop it on Photoshop. This is the scale size, the size of the print or the pattern which is going to be seen. So I'm just going to enlarge it right now. I'm just going to scale this up right like this. Okay. So I'm holding shift at this point of time. Wait a second, I think. Let me just, it's just taking some time for me. Right, so I just uh, so I just want to hold shift, and that means I can make my pattern as enlarged as possible, but it will not skew. Like, you know, if I, you know, if I do this without holding shift, it's going to just skew the whole pattern. Okay. So I don't want that. So when I hold shift, it's not going to happen that way. Okay. And then I'm just going to hit enter. All right. So now the pattern looks fine for me, but then just in case if you want to decrease your scale of your pattern, then you need to go inside, double click. And then there will be another illustrator window that opens and then you have your access to the pattern you have your uh, you get access to the pattern uh, zoom in so by zooming in you can just see how the pattern scale is on this particular rectangle so what you need to do is basically you go into transform and scale you can make it maybe 70% uh, you can decrease the size to 70% and maybe trans you can also uncheck transform objects and hit OK. Okay, so this is the pattern, um, the tile which is going to uh, be there available for me. And now what you need to do is just close this window and make sure you hit yes. Save changes to Adobe Illustrator document, vector smart object before closing, yes. Okay. Now you can go back to your Photoshop document and it will automatically um, get your new scale on this particular document. And when you click or when you just close this smart object, you can hit yes and then you will be able to see your uh, new color over there but actually this is not showing while uh, sorry because um, i think it didn't save for me wait a second 
so I'll just go back again uh, and I will bring this here let me just decrease the size of it and then I can make sure that's the scale that I want uh, use the eyedropper tool to have it on this particular oops sorry wrong uh, on this particular tile and then you can close it and save that okay so now we will have it here because yes and you close that you will have it here so something went wrong uh, the first time I did. I don't know what happened suddenly. Maybe I hit no or something. I don't know. Uh, anyways, la that's how you get this particular um, print on top of this mock-up. Now I'm going to hit that uh, double click that vector um, layer again to get access to that particular layer. And I have my... Um, print here I will bring that print on to this smart object and I will rescale it once again and now I have this particular print here and I will use my eyedropper tool to you know get get the print on this particular tile I delete that but that um, print which I don't really require and we we'll close this and hit yes and then when you jump back to the Photoshop file, it's supposed to be uh, giving you this particular print. And now you close this and hit yes. You have your pattern right there. So I can see a slight difference in the two pattern scale. But at this point of time, it's totally fine. I can go back and then I can just... Um, rescale the size of the pattern and then make it available on this particular side of this uh, for this layer. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was really inspirational and hope uh, you learned something today. Hope it was educative and um, if you have learned something, let me know in the comments below if it was helpful um, and what you would like to see me create next. And um, and yeah, um, let me know if you have, if you've done the project uh, on the no, it's, uh, no issue um, tissue uh, mock-ups, uh, uh, then let me know. Uh, take a picture and send it to me on Instagram at it's made by Envy. Let me know, tag, tag me in and uh, let me know about it. <laughs> okay, all right. So uh, that's it. And yeah, um, all the links to my classes will be there in the description below. You can find all the links over there um, on Skillshare. My classes are there on Skillshare, Arbington, and even Grimfer. So you can find all those class links in the description below. And go check out my classes. Let me know how you feel about my classes. If you like them, uh, if there's something that you want to learn, um, let me know about it. Your honest, honest, honest opinions. Okay, so I'm looking forward to it. And um, yeah. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.